Hey everyone, um, we have a 2009 Volkswagen Passat CC with a 2.0 TFSI motor. Uh, we recently did a video on uh, timing chain replacement on one of those TFSI motors. And I forgot to mention one very important thing that you would need to do while doing the timing chain. This is the place where the cam bridge goes. This oil passage over here. There's a check valve in the cylinder head. Uh, it goes bad a lot. You have to check that. To check this check valve, take a regular pressure pump. Stick the fitting into the hole. And start, start pre pumping pressure. Well, our check valve was working. Uh, the problem with this motor was a balance shaft gone bad and we lost oil pressure. But if you can pressurize this hole over here, don't put the timing chain on, continue with uh, removing the cylinder head and replacing the check valve. So this is the check valve. This is how it looks. This is a brand new one. See, there's a valve inside and this is how a bed check valve looks see this hole is worn out and sometimes it gets stuck open like this and that's when you start getting misfires and uh, timing codes the car will start running rough and we'll throw some timing codes see this is a our cam bridge. The screen is missing on the cam on the, on the check valve over here. The check valve itself is okay. We're gonna still replace it. But you have to check this. With the Audi in the Audi manual it says that if the check if the screen is missing or if it's somewhere in this area, just take the screen out and reinstall the valve. I wouldn't do that. I've seen these valves actually pop out of the socket and go bad. So, replace this cam bridge as well. And this is the actual problem that we had with this motor over here. See the bearing on the balance shaft that drives the water pump gone bad. So, this thing, we broke it off to, to see what's going on inside. So, there you go. This hole over here, pressurize it and make sure it keeps pressure. If it doesn't, don't bother putting the timing chain back on.